Hello and welcome back to our educational channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, the safety of babies while they sleep, specifically focusing on the issue of babies sleeping on their stomachs. According to the National Institutes of Health, placing your baby on their back for all naps and nights is the single most effective way to lower the risk of sudden unexpected infant death. However, despite the advice from sleep experts and pediatricians, not all parents follow this recommendation. Today, we'll address some common questions and concerns regarding babies and belly sleeping. Why is sleeping on the stomach dangerous for babies? Experts don't fully understand all the reasons, but there are several factors involved. Stomach sleeping can obstruct a baby's airway, interfere with their body's heat regulation, and potentially lead to overheating, all of which increase the risk of sewage. Moreover, research suggests that babies who sleep on their tummies may rebreathe their exhaled breath, leading to an increase in carbon dioxide and a decrease in oxygen levels in their bodies. Historical perspective. Some of you may wonder if it was wrong that you were put to sleep on your stomach when you were a baby. The truth is, your parents were following the advice of their time. However, Research has shown that placing babies on their backs for sleep significantly reduces the risk of infant sleep death. In fact, since the introduction of the National Back to Sleep Campaign, now known as Safe to Sleep, in the United States, the sewage rate has dropped by more than 50%. Can babies sleep on their stomach sometimes? Now you might ask, can babies sleep on their stomach occasionally, especially if they seem more comfortable that way? The answer is no. Babies who are used to sleeping on their backs but are occasionally placed on their stomachs are at a high risk of sewage. It is crucial that all caregivers, including grandparents, babysitters, and daycare workers, consistently place the baby on their back for all sleep periods to reduce the risk of sleep-related incidents. Reflux and Choking Concerns Some parents worry that babies with reflux may choke if placed on their backs. However, this is not the case. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises that even babies with reflux should sleep on their backs. While spitting up can be concerning, babies' airway anatomy and gag reflex work to protect them when they sleep on their backs. On the other hand, tummy sleeping increases the risk of aspiration or choking. Ensuring comfortable sleep. We understand that some babies may find sleeping on their stomachs more comfortable, but safety always comes first. To keep your baby comfortable and well-rested, you can use techniques like swaddling, shushing, and rocking to mimic the calming sensations of the womb. Rolling to stomach while sleeping. If your baby starts rolling from back to stomach by themselves, their risk of sewage significantly decreases. In such cases, you can allow them to sleep on their stomach if they are comfortable. However, if your baby is not yet an expert roller, continue to reposition them onto their back after they roll over. Remember, it's important to initially place them on their back at bedtime and nap time until their first birthday. Promoting safe sleep. To ensure your baby stays on their back during sleep, make it a consistent practice from the beginning. Babies who are accustomed to sleeping on their backs are more likely to stay in that position. Additionally, using a bassinet with its secure swaddling system can help prevent babies from rolling into unsafe positions. When can babies sleep on their stomach? The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends back sleeping for the first year of a baby's life. However, if your baby can roll from front to back and back to front easily, usually around six months old, you can consider allowing them to sleep on their stomach, but only if they have fully mastered this skill. Even then, continue to place them on their back on a flat and firm sleep surface for the entirety of their first year. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more informative content.